I'm just looking at buying a new laptop and I thought I'd just share with you um, some of the laptops that I'm looking at. I found the ThinkBook 15. I've put a, um, in the description below I've put a link to a list of the different laptops I'm looking at. Now obviously I'm going to have to do a lot of photography so looking at Lightroom, Photoshop, um, Adobe Premiere, well I use Premiere Elements actually so I'm just looking at the specifications and and what you actually need for these programs so the best advice I can give you is just look at what you're going to use in the first place and this ThinkBook 15 might be the ideal computer for me so I'm just looking at laptops desktops I think I've settled on a laptop so 889 I don't want to spend over a thousand um, I think when you're going over a thousand MacBook Pros are just so expensive now um, I don't really see the benefit of that so let's just go through the specs of this ThinkBook 15 it's got a 10th generation um, processor so look at the Intel website and that's you know up to date so that's really good let's just go through the specs and see what we think so it's the ThinkBook 15-2L I suppose and this is the thing I would look into is with any laptop um, you know, with cameras it's quite straightforward, you get a 5D, get a 5D, but one thing you have to look at with this sort of technology is uh, they're tiny little things like that, and it might be a better screen or it might be a different graphics card, so let's just go down and have a look. Because this is the Novo website direct, I'm pretty confident that when you click on Add Basket you're going to get this exact spec other websites I would just be a bit careful because uh, obviously as laptops sell out and they get the last few um, you might have an old spec so this i7 processor is 10th generation um, which is really good for laptops because it's they've they've made a, a, a slight jump so you don't actually really need a separate graphics card um, won't go into that too much but if you research it yourself you'll see that 10th generation i7s um, are really good so that's a 1065 G7 I've looked into that processor and it's going to be ideal um, really for Premiere or Photoshop whatever we want to throw at it really and that's what you're looking to do with this is trying to get a computer that is beyond what you need because as they bring out the new software over the next few years you can guarantee you'll need a better processor and more RAM. It's running Windows 10 Pro which is really good so that's very secure. Um, if you're obviously a Mac user then this is not going to really interest you. I used Macs for I think 10 years and I switched over to Windows. Um, a strange reason but it's because the screens were really really shiny they suddenly brought out a range of laptops and um, iMacs with really shiny screens. I don't like shiny screens at all. I like matte ones and they were charging extra for the matte screen. You could get it and to be honest with you that put me off. So I've moved over to Windows and been quite happy with it to be honest. Um, up until recently where I've started doing more video work and it's just gone beyond the laptop I've got. So this is the another important bit is the screen. And when you look into screens, if you look at IPS, and it's worth Googling this and just having a good look, this is obviously the anti-glare one, so it's not going to be a really shiny screen, it's going to be more matte. Um, it's full HD, 1920 by 1080. I don't really know, need to go beyond that. Um, 4K screens, again we look at max, higher end laptops, £2,000 above. Um, you might get a 4K screen, but that's not really relevant for me quite happy with that so that's a really good screen full HD backlit IPS um, just look out for TN panels and gamers all know all about this but IPS and TN um, obviously I don't play games on this laptop that's not what I'm into so it's just purely photography so IPS absolutely perfect really important one now for Photoshop users is the RAM um, this has just gone up and up and up over the years, the amount of RAM you need. And they, they'll argue you don't need 16, you could take 8. Um, if you are going to take 8 in the machine, in other words, buy a laptop with 8, 
gigabytes of RAM. This is random access memory, so this is literally the oil of your computer, I think, really. It's the thing that makes it run smoothly, so you can render things and you can use plugins, and that's really important. So always have too much RAM. The most, you know, just fill it up with RAM is my advice. That's really important. So 16 gig, and it's fast RAM. It's really good RAM, that is. So, yeah quite happy with that and this is stacking up to be a really good Photoshop stroke Lightroom light video editing um, well actually it's a good video editing machine as far as I can see from the spec so next one is your storage where you can store all of your images now I outboard off I, I take all my images off onto H um, sorry onto drives so you know this isn't that important to me now I use I keep very little on the actual computer but if you're into video and you want to work really fast then you want to keep your projects on your computer and then back them up um, external backup then 512 gigabyte is very good and it's SSD the bit to look out for now is NVMe which it really means it's plugged straight into the main board of the computer and it's very fast storage so this you, you won't get much faster than that to be honest with you um, and that means imagine the main board the main guts of the computer has to have the Intel chip and then that's talking to storage and then you've got memory it's these three things that are working together to make your computer fast and work really well so what, another thing to look out for with laptops is the fact they might give you a really good one of these and give you very little of this and you think that's a really good price um, and they give you a really poor screen and it's the balance between these you want a decent processor decent screen um, good memory 16 gig storage is debatable you know you could get away with just running a machine in 128 but if it's NVMe and it's nice and fast then you're gonna have a fast machine so that's what I look for most people are just looking for this bit a bit like when you're buying a camera or anything really it's the lens and the sensor combination the whole package is what's important people tend to buy you know the wrong things and I've done it on the past. This is experience, you know. I've <laughs> I've learned they, at the MacBook Pro I owned. I I spent two thousand pounds on it, and that was twelve, fifteen years ago, I think, something like that. And I made sure that it had the most it could you could fit in it, basically. And I was so glad I did because it meant it actually worked, and it lasted us ten years. So really important. You obviously got a warranty. You can increase that with, with Lenovo power supply now this Intel UHD graphics and this is where your 10th generation comes in you'll have to do your own research on this um, for, for my purposes I'm not into gaming that's going to be absolutely perfect no problem at all onboard graphics with that 10th generation one is going to be fine it's got a good battery um, look for that polymer so that's very good and the other thing that is important I'm doing this video now I'm having to use a separate mic and then you know you want a decent webcam so it is a 720p um, I've got great confidence in that being a good webcam and a good microphone so that's important to me because I'm doing these videos now fingerprint reader I'm sure will be really good but it's a bit of a gimmick for me but I'm sure that'll be absolutely great stick your finger on you log in instantly Backlit keyboard's really important, I think. I'm working in low light at the minute, um, and being able to see your keys, so that you know that that's worth having. The other bit I'm looking at is the Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi six. Now that's coming along. So a wireless card. I don't know, but I I don't know if you can actually change that in a laptop or not. You comment below if you know. But um, Wi-Fi six is coming along, and it's going to be in all our routers in our homes and we're on Wi-Fi 5 at the minute I really want a laptop that's built in if it's soldered in I don't know you know you might go to change this in two years time and you know you might not have the fastest connection so Wi-Fi is really important to me um, and that is a good setup so as a well-balanced machine um, 
for what I need that that's looking pretty good I've put a list there's a link in the description it's um, I might link to Lenovo to this page for you but um, it'll be a link to the list of laptops I'm looking at and a lot of them are 14 inch screens as well whereas this is 15.6 just that little bit extra makes a difference to me I'm staring at this 15.6 now um, probably about half a meter away and it's just right so I'm not sure I fancy a smaller screen and the Max, you know, MacBook Air, they've gone down to 13.3, is it? A lot of the PCs have gone to 14 inch. So I still think the perfect screen is 15.6 um, for portability, you know, taken out to weddings when they eventually come back, hopefully next year. Um, and anti glare, really important. Now, Lenovo, and um, the reason that you know, I've I'm, I'm not owned a Lenovo, I'm not using one now, but uh, my wife and her company, they use Lenovo. I've had experience of using their laptops and looking at them as, you know, very solid machines. So, and I've picked a lot of Lenovos up in the shops and, you know, I've got great confidence in that. So, you know, it's a good looking machine. It's got plenty of ports as well. The other thing to look at is, does it have HDMI? So if I want to run a separate monitor, has it got an HDMI? Yes, it has. Now with Macs, you're having to dongle, you know, I, I, another reason I've left um, Mac. I still use an iPhone, but um, they need to get their act together, really. I mean, if if it's the difference between having a slightly thicker machine, but with all the ports in the side, I'll, I'll pick that any day because it's just simple. So you've got all, all the USB, everything you need. Um, you've got the ports on the side, so, and it's a nice, clean, you know, stylish machine. It looks fine if you had meetings and you're in business. It looks good. It's got an RJ45, which is your Ethernet, so I can run a cable down here and I can plug straight into, um, straight into the router. As I say, you've got everything you need in there. It, headphone jack, and look out for that because you'd be amazed. On a lot of these laptops, they don't give you anything, and then you end up having to put a dongle in the side of it, which is a backward step in my opinion. I remember 20 years ago, a really slim laptop came out. You had to have a docking station for it. I mean, I don't get that at all. So, good access. Um, I haven't actually used this, so I can't just straight recommend it, but I've looked into it a lot, and this is looking like the machine that will work for someone like me. Um, another little thing that I think is important, I put a piece of tape over my webcam, it might be paranoia, but the bottom line is they put a slide shutter on this one. So you can have a safety slide shutter on and so that your webcam is safe and it's not exposed so you know that no one can be viewing out your webcam, which they can definitely hack. Go and have a look. I'll, I will put a link to this page actually. And 94 reviews on there. Very good reviews. 889 at the moment. That's UK obviously. Um, yeah, so as an all round machine, I would not be surprised if I bought one of these very soon. Um, the spec's absolutely perfect. But as I said, I'll put a link in the description. It'll have some of the other laptops I'm looking at. It's be an Amazon link um, to sort of lists that I put together so take a look and if you're thinking about buying a laptop I would seriously consider this one okay that's all for now I'll see you again soon